<laughs> it's that prototype chick here guys thank you so much for joining this video oh my god i've been trying to upload a video now for the past god knows how long like i've been thinking oh no this is not it this is not it this is not it and finally i got to do this look and i really like it and i hope you guys like it too so i decided maybe this is it now let's upload and start this channel already please do not forget to thumbs up and subscribe 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 tell your friends tell a friend to tell a friend you know watch my video so without further ado let's go into the video no matter where you go remember the road that will lead Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is pin my hair back. So I already pinned in my hair. Now let's get into this look. If you see anything on my teeth, I'm sorry. I just finished having cereal. As you know, well, you may not know, I'm a foodie. <laughs> I like to eat. I like to eat, eat, eat. I'm going to start with my face. I just got this uh, makeup organizer and I am seeing that it's more of a trouble. <laughs> I should have just arranged my makeup on my table. This is very troublesome. So I'm gonna start with my Astella Vista. You see the colors are beautiful. <gasps> beautiful colors. Putting this lip balm I don't know what it does. It says it's organic. And that just makes me feel good. Organic. Hmm. Healthy. I'll start with this classic primer. Shadow primer. I'll just take a brush. I said I was going to do my face before my shadow, but I changed my mind. I will do my shadow before my face. Why? Because I can. So, I'm going to take a blending brush. Just a simple all over blending brush like this and from the palette, I will just take this yellow right here, this yellow, yellow, and put it behind, sweeping it all over that area. I'll just do it there. A smaller crease brush, is it? This pink. Lower into my crease like that. That's my career. So you want to put most of your product on the outer part of your eye, the outer V. Then whatever's left is what you take in. You know, like that. Do the same on the other eye. Next, go in with this purple. in that corner in that corner in that corner then i will now go in with this darker purple like just to darken you know that part because i want it to be like kind of smoky you know i want to give it like a smoky effect so i want it to get deeper but i still want it to be purple do you hear me do you understand what I'm saying? I think you do. With the crease brush I used earlier, I will just go back in with that pink, the first pink I used because hot pink that I used because I just feel like it has kind of disappeared. So I want to put it back <laughs> right here. Come back, come back, yo. Come back. Where did you think you were going? Where did you think you were going? Huh? Huh? Just right where it, you know, connects with the purple. I'll just blend that piece out because it needs to be smooth. It needs to be seamless. That's the word. Like that. I will cut my crease with um, my classic primer. I'll stop here because I don't want to cut it all the way out I'll take this yellow color right here and I'll put that on my crease just right after the yellow
So now that I've done that, I will go ahead and uh, prime my face. Professional from Benefit Cosmetics uh, around my T zones where my pores are pretty large. I like how it gives like a very smooth, makes my face feel so smooth. Then I'll also take my Fenty Beauty primer. For my foundation, I'll be using this foundation I just got from NYX Cosmetics, which is Total Control in the shade more. First of all, before I go for that, I just want to say I really don't like the packaging of this foundation. Not the packaging like so, but the packaging as in the dispenser. It's I think it's too liquidy for, you know, this drop drop situation. It's just like I spilled it the first day I got it. I just mistakenly spilled it. It's a very liquid foundation. I think it should be pump and not this drop, you know, what to correct around my mouth area with this orange uh, corrector from MAC Cosmetics. So I'll just blend that out with my beauty blender. Now I'll go in with my foundation. Let me see if I can do it like this. I don't want it to spill on my body. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I just knew I was going to do that. You see? Okay, so it says like it's supposed to be sheer, but it's buildable. Seriously, how careful, like how do I need to be, <laughs> let me leave that part for the English you feel me. No, I really like the foundation, like I really like the finish and all that, I like it, but I just don't think <laughs> drops, the drop thing is working for me, I'm very clumsy. And even if you're careful, because I try to be careful, even if you're careful, I just feel like the thing will just spill it. it it's too liquidy. They should make it pump or something. On the eye concealer, I'll blend that out with my beauty blender. So, I will now go in with a lighter shade of concealer to kind of brighten my under eye. I'll keep it just here, you know, just directly under the eyes, like that. Because we're just trying to brighten, it's not like this is... I like that extra highlight the top of my nose, sorry. Chin, Cupid's bow forehead now that I look like I live in a forest <sighs> like I'm in winshi winshi I'll blend I like that foundation And now to now to contour I'll be using this contour sculpt and highlights from NYX Cosmetics okay let me tell you something I'm not sure if it's NYX Cosmetics or NYX some people call it NYX some people call it NYX like I'm confused so whichever one comes out of my mouth that's the one it is for that moment You know, I can't come and scatter my head.
I'll take a cleaner side and just like blend it in to each other. Like that. For the nose, I'll take a small brush and just so now to set my face I'll be using a translucent setting powder setting powder once you're in front of the camera I swear to god this accent just comes from nowhere not even just the camera like when you're just in a place you feel like oh all lies on me you just are speaking some kind of English like the one you don't speak inside your own it's crazy okay so I'll set my under eye with that once upon a time baking was in vogue but now baking is long gone Then whatever is left on my uh, beauty blender, I'll just use it to set the rest of my face down to my neck and all of that. Then I'll take my powder brush and go in just to bring down this whole look back to ground. I'll take this powder from NYX Cosmetics. It's in the shade Deep Olive. So I'll use that. To you know blend my whole look just so that across my entire face now that I'm done with that I'll take my uh, this uh, blush also it's from NYX it's called Bitten Beaten. It's called Beaten. Uh, I was trying not to say it in the accent, but <laughs> the thing just did not work. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So, Beaten, this is how it looks. I really like this blush. This is not my first time using it. I really like it. Oh, you know what? I actually forgot that I got a bronzer that I, I plan to try on today. Where's my bronzer, y'all? Uh, it's from Makeup Revolution. It's called Vivid Baked Bronzer. Oh. <laughs> it's from Makeup Revolution. It's called Vivid. I feel like I put too much on this side. I don't know, this is my first time using a bronzer, so I really don't know what to expect from it. I can like, I can see a little bit of glow, but I don't know. Since they use it, I'll use it too. <laughs> okay, so now for my highlight. Highlighting powder. I can't remember the name, but I love it. Ha! This highlighting powder does magic. Look at it. Yeah. Like, and I'm just using, like, from the cap. I like I can't. Even, eh? If I go in with the what's it called, I'll just look like I got I got fire. <laughs> Did you catch fire? Eh, no. I didn't lie. You. Like. Okay, I'll put it also on my nose. Can you can you see that? Catch the glue. Did I blend this side here? Yeah, don't just go see to this glue on it. Catch the glue. Catch the glue. <laughs> catch the glue. Okay. On my cupid's bowl. Ah ah. 
you just put it once like this, bam, the thing will just catch fire. I used to see people putting this thing here, so let me just put it. It's not like I'm, it's my, it's not my thing. But, you know, sometimes you just want to try out new stuff. Basically, everything I tried today is new. This is my first time using the bronzer. This is my first time doing this kind of eye look. I'll line my inner rim or waterline. What's the name of this liner? Maybelline. So now that I've done that, uh, let's just go all out. Just cuckoo go all out. Like I've already gotten to this point anyway. If you're not Nigerian and you like hear these terms I'm using, I'm sorry. I mean, I just get up to the call. And sometimes we cannot just talk without saying some certain things like cuckoo, cuckoo go on and do it, you know, things like that. Abi, hmm. sha, you understand? So, from the Hasta La Vista palette, I will take this green here. Just dust off the excess because now I have my foundation and my concealer on. I don't want it to ruin <laughs> everything. So, I already uh, put the green underneath my eye. What do you guys think about that? Like, this is new. I didn't practice this anyway. Like, I just did it for the first time. And from this mirror, this mirror is speaking to me. It's telling me that, yeah... The color combo, the green you added on that is not a disaster. It actually works. That's what this mirror is telling me. But I don't know. You guys should tell me your own under the comment section. But I mean, in the comment section. <laughs> Disgrace. My first video. <laughs> you guys should tell me in the comment section what you think about, you know, the green color combo, everything, everything, everything. Just let me know. Let me know. I'm not going to edit like and take out all my bloops and everything. Bloopers, bloopers, and everything. If you want me to be more refined, tell me. For me, this is how I am, and this is how I plan to be. This is how I plan to show myself because if not, I'm making a lot of mistakes. Okay, so now that we're done with that, let me put some mascara just to revive the lower lashes because I think it's lost. Hey, I hope this my mirror is not deceiving me because this mirror is telling me great things. So, hey, this mirror, if they abuse me, I will take this uh, pencil and just line my lips. For my lips, I'll take this NYX Cosmetics uh, lipstick and I'll just put that all over. So now I'll go on top of that with um, also from NYX Cosmetics. Uh, it's a metallic gloss. I'll just put that in the center. Not past the center. I feel like I need to line that with a little bit of a... It's NYX as well in the shade, you know, I can't even remember, but I know it's like, it's a burgundy, kind of a burgundy color. I'll just line that underneath here. Just to give my lips a definition. I thought I could go without liner, but apparently, no. So, so this is it for the look. Then I will add my... Um, a spray from Kat Von D. It's called Lock It. Hmm. I love setting spray. You know when you just finish your makeup, your face is like tight, and then you put the setting spray, and it's like, oh, I can smile again. I can do everything again. It's just, it's just lovely. Okay, guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. So, what do you guys think? Let me know if you Please do not forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. This is my first video. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much.